Hey and welcome back to another episode of the Fogo Life. Today I want to show you how to restore and re-season your damaged cast iron cookware. I love cast iron pans and cookware. They're extremely versatile. You can use it inside in your stove, you can even put it in the oven, and even better, you can use it outside in your grill. It's very easy to transfer from one place to another. And the other thing is, it's really easy to keep clean and you just have to re-season it and keep it dry. But sometimes mistakes happen and, um, you know, by mistake you might end up putting a cast iron in the dishwasher or someone in your family might, or you maybe, I think I left this one outside and it rusted in the rain here in Florida. But um, you don't need to worry about it, it's okay, you know, like, you just need to strip the rust and re-season this cast iron pan and it'll be as good as new. So let me show you how to do that. Start by washing your cast iron in warm water with soap. You need to remove all the rust before you can season it. For the tougher spots, where elbow grease just won't cut it, you can carefully use a drill with a wire brush. You can also let the cast iron soak in vinegar for an hour or a little bit longer. This will help loosen any of the remaining stubborn rust. Finally, rinse the pan under water to remove any remaining soap or vinegar. Set your grill to indirect heat at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. First you want to completely dry your cast iron. This will take about 10 to 20 minutes. I then apply crispy stick cast iron seasoning, a small Florida business, please go and check them out. Wipe any excess off and then place the cast iron back on the grill, facing down so any excess seasoning can run off and bake it for about an hour. For regular maintenance or for normal re-seasoning, one coat and one baking is usually enough. For a complete restore, like in this case, I recommend at least three coats, so that the seasoning layer is nice and thick. Alright guys, it's been about um, how much like four or five hours. I've applied uh, three coats of seasoning at this stage and I think that's pretty pretty much done. 
Let's have a look at it. I might have to apply one more coat, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty damn good to me. Look at this, guys. Pretty even. Got an even, nice black coverage. This is the front. I would like to get it a little bit more evenly black here. Uh, maybe I'll apply one more coat on the inside and let it bake for another like two hours or so, and then it should be done. Yeah, but um, I'm very, I'm very happy with it. Um, it looked terrible this morning, <laughs> all rusty and stuff. But yeah, um, let's talk a little bit about this. So I guess the obvious point is. Why did I do it on the grill, right? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of videos that do like cast iron restoration, and usually it's in the oven. But, well, apart from the fact that obviously, you know, we sell charcoal, we're in the barbecue business, but um, apart from that, it kind of makes total sense to do it on your grill, don't you think? Um, I mean, you get a ton of smoke. Like I've done this beforehand in the house, uh, reseason ca uh, cast iron, and the whole house fills with smoke. Why would you do it in the house? grill is the perfect uh, perfect spot to do it so my recommendation do it on your grill your wife will be happy all right apart from that um, how do how do you take care of this now um, like I said in the beginning don't put it in the dishwasher from now on after we've cleaned it and scrapped it down and everything um, do not use any soap with it anymore you know you if you have some food stuck um, during cooking or something like that just let it cool down and then rinse it with water and scrub off the rest of the food and apply a very, very thin coat of oil. You know, like literally, um, what I'm referring to thin in terms of you have to pay, uh, pass uh, a paper towel after applying the oil. And when you sort of pass it, it should be almost dry. Like right now it's dry because we just baked it. But um, once you apply like a little bit more oil and you store it, it needs to be dry, okay? Because otherwise, the oil will kind of accumulate and go rancid, and it's not good. You know, you don't you don't want that. Um, yeah, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this episode today, and if you did, I hope you share it with your friends, and I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.